Hey there and welcome back. Today we will discuss tile classification of pelvic ring injuries. The reason why I would like to discuss tile and younger Burgess classifications before coming to my favorite one, which is the AO classification, simply because the AO classification combines both tile and younger Burgess. So proper understanding of both will help you memorize the AO classification. Now, tile classification is super easy. There are three types, type A, type B, and type C. Type A is a stable pelvis. Type B is a rotationally unstable, vertically stable pelvis. And finally, type C, both rotationally and vertically unstable. Each of tile A, B, and C are subclassified into 1, 2, and 3, which are further subclassified, but we don't need them for catching the basics. Now, type A fractures do not involve the pelvic ring, and the posterior arch is intact. They can be avulsive fractures, E1, iliac wing fractures, E2, and transverse sacral fractures, E3. As for type B fractures, the posterior arch is partially injured. They can be open book injuries, B1, lateral compression injuries, B2, or bilateral in tile B3. Finally, in type C, the posterior arch is completely injured. They can be C1, in unilateral unstable fracture, C2, bilateral unstable fracture, where an unstable fracture is on one side and a partially stable fracture on the other side. And C3, unstable fracture on both sides. Remember, it's all about the arch of the pelvis. That's it for today, and as always, thanks for watching, till next time.